how could universal salvation be true if Jesus tells the story of the rich man and Lazarus and how they're separated by a great chasm that no one can cross over? I'm so glad that you asked me about the rich man and Lazarus. Let me reach my notes here. Uh, on my YouTube channel, Phil Henry Power Gospel, YouTube, I have a playlist. It's called the Say What series. And in the Say What series, there's 13 or 14 messages. And the last four messages deal with the rich man and Lazarus. So I did four parts on the rich man and Lazarus. Let me touch on a few of my points that are in these four videos. Jesus told 38 parables. Okay. We get the parables. They all start like this. Uh, there was a certain man. There was a certain town. There was uh, the kingdom of heaven is like, or sometimes he just says, hey, yo, like in today's term, hey, morons, this is a parable. Here we go. So we can tell it's called, I call it parable signaling. We can tell when it's a parable. And the rich man of Lazarus starts exactly in that same way. There was a rich man. Okay. It's the same start, first of all. Okay. So if he tells 38 parables, why would 37 of them be fictional narratives to illustrate a point? But one of them is an exact gospel truth. So right off the bat, hold on, time out, right off the bat, um, I don't like that part of it. So if you also then look at the parable that precedes the rich man of Lazarus, it's the parable of the unrighteous manager. And in the parable of the unrighteous manager, it sets up the exact same way. There was a rich man. And in this particular parable of the unrighteous manager, the rich man is what I call a neutral guy. He wasn't a good guy. He wasn't a bad guy. He was a neutral guy. And he was like, he found out that this guy he hired was scamming him. So the unrighteous manager was the bad guy. The rich guy was neutral. And what does this unrighteous manager do? Instead of saying I'm wrong, he starts con conniving and scheming. And hey, look, hey, you owe us this much. You're only going to pay us this much. Do this. He starts maneuvering to save himself so that when he gets thrown out, these other people will receive him. So the unrighteous manager precedes the rich man and Lazarus. There's a neutral guy, there's a bad guy. The bad guy doesn't own up to his faults. Now let's turn to the rich man and Lazarus. You got a neutral guy and a bad guy. The poor, the Lazarus is a neutral guy. We don't know from the narrative, was he like a good dude, a bad dude? All we know is he's poor and he wants food. That's all we know. I'm sure there's poor people that are like really super great people. There's probably poor people that are jerks. We don't know. All we know is he's poor. But the rich man, you can see that he's an uncaring dude. He doesn't care. He care less, only about himself. So he's the bad guy. It sets up the same way. Neutral guy, bad guy. Okay? The bad guy finds himself jacked up. And what's he do? Does he own up to it? No, he starts wanting favors. Hey, can you send him down? I want a drink of water. Hey, can you go see my brothers? At no time does he say, I'm a jerk. I messed up. It's the same setup. And guess what? Who was the target audience in both of these? The Pharisees. Jesus is slicing up the Pharisees. Not because he hates them, because he loves them. He loves all people. And this was his way to reach them and say, guys, you have no idea how far off base you Pharisees are. Jesus slammed the Pharisees, didn't he, in all the Gospels? And he's slamming the Pharisees and the rich man and Lazarus. This has nothing to do with some, you know, guy, this rich guy in hell. It has to do with the Pharisees in the right then and there. That's what it's about. And let me ask, let me say this too, just in closing. If the rich man and Lazarus is true, faith doesn't matter. There's nothing about faith in the rich man and Lazarus. The faith of Lazarus that doesn't mention it or no faith of the rich man. Faith is not an issue in the rich man of Lazarus, not, not at all. It's all about works or lack of works of the rich man, okay? If the rich man of Lazarus is true, then Abraham is the mediator and not Jesus. The rich man's making his appeals to Abraham. If the rich man of Lazarus is true, then your mansion in heaven is gonna have the torment section in your backyard. Okay, how about that for as far as not in my backyard? Yeah, in your backyard. 
You're going to be looking over here, seeing people burning and screaming and wanting to have dialogue with you. If the rich man and Lazarus is true. Um, and if the rich man and Lazarus is true, so many other scriptures are false. The scriptures about God's will to save all people, God's will to reconcile all people, Jesus the Savior of all, throw them all out. If you are going to put all your faith in the rich man and Lazarus, as you can tell, I get a little passionate about this.